Okay, so everybody, here's a new YouTube. Yay, I personally don't like it. I mean, the main thing that I hate is it's just over all of the left side and not in the middle. Anyway, one new thing that you can do is you can add your custom, uh, like like here, like on Woody's Gamertag, he has a custom thumbnail for his video. Now, they let you actually do that now. So what you want to do is go to your any of your videos. Um, as you can see, I've done one here. Um, but all, all the rest of mine haven't so what you do is you click on edit and here you can you can choose the thumbnail w that you're um, that you want to use and all you have to do is click custom thumbnail and then you can uh, choose which image you want to use as your thumbnail which is really cool so um, I thought I'd show you quickly just an example of making it in Photoshop but I mean you can get you can just copy an image off the internet or anything so here in Photoshop you just want to go file new and we're going to make a HD resolution by going uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels so that's 1080p um, full HD and then we come up with this and this this is the size of the YouTube video itself um, so basically first thing you want to, going to want to do is you're going to want to make just a background so um, you can add layer things on top so it's not just white and the the best way, the nice professional looking way is to get a gradient now you click on the gradient here it might be paint bucket but you just click and hold and this will come up and then you click gradient and to change the gradient you can click up here in this box and you can change it to all of these all of these colours but I, I like this one and choosing my own my, my own colour so just for the to this video I'm going to go with blue so we'll start with a, a dark a darker blue like this and then we can go to a nice light blue like that maybe slightly lighter you know is it's completely your choice but yeah anyway that's kind of what what we're trying to get a nice um blue gradient color so I'm happy with that now um so you just click OK and the best way to do this is to hold shift and to click and drag. Now I think it looks best from the side. I don't know why. But um you just hold shift, click and drag across and it should um make this nice gradient backgrounds if you want. Um so since this is a, f a Photoshop kind of tutorial, uh we'll go on to Google here. And we'll just get um, a Photoshop logo off the internet. Um, if it loads, come on. Just like that, that's a nice one. Copy that. Paste it in here. Um, so the only trouble is with that is that it clashes with the blue background. So if we. Um, go up here to where our layers are we can double click on the name to just call it photoshop logo whatever you want and we can also double click on the layer over here to bring up the um, layer style tab where you can make lots of cool changes now to make it stand out from the from the background we're going to put a stroke on there which just adds a line on the edge three is good and five is also good um, I'm going to go with four to be picky I suppose and I'm also going to do a drop shadow I'm going to increase the distance a bit <coughs> just like that so now we want to position it somewhere you can click make sure you've got this tool clicked up here I can't remember what it's called probably the move tool and you can just click and drag wherever you want it to go I'm going to put it I don't know top right there you go like that um, but I want it bigger so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, you can either do uh, I think it's edit transform scale or you can do control T a lot easier to do that and hold shift to make sure otherwise it would go all pixelated and stuff like that if you hold shift uh, if you hold shift and drag make it bigger Okay, and it'd be like that. But I want it smaller, I want it about that big. 
like that. I also want to tilt it slightly so it's like that. And uh, there, there we go, a nice Photoshop logo. Now, to um, add text, you click the text tool. I'm running out of time now, so I'm just going to do it fast. And we can change the the uh, size of it. I'm going to change it to, I don't know, what's 500 like? That's pretty big. I'm going to go with 250. And we're going to choose a font. I'm going to choose, uh, where is it, come on, there it is, little Snorlax, and we're going to, we're just going to type custom thumbnail like that, just going to make it I think white will probably look best. Like that. Right. That is too big, so we're going to click Control T again to bring the transform up. Drop it down to the size we want. Okay. So, uh, there we go. That's, uh, you can add other pictures, you can add screenshots um, to make it your own. I'm going to just do this. Make it bigger again. I don't know what am I doing here. Control T. I'll make it bigger like that. And also, I'm just going to add another bit of information down here. Just a normal aerial, I should think. Aerial, aerial. Just to say something like, uh, wi without YouTube partnership. Like that. Oh, it's massive again. We're going to make that 72, 72, I don't know what that's doing there, full stop, I'm going to add a stroke to this. Make it a bit bigger. And voila. You've made your own custom thumbnail. I mean, you can change it around, make it your own, but that's pretty much it. And just one more time, you need to file, save as, and then you can save it as a YouTube format, but then you can also save it as a JPEG. Um, call it what you want, just like that, go back to YouTube, click custom thumbnail, choose the thumbnail you just made, just there, click open and it will load and your custom thumbnail will appear. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.